it's live now, so people are, are already I? heard you. Yay! <laughs> we'll do a proper introduction soon. We're just being unprofessional at the moment because Nitro Dust yeah. is unable to do something. Yeah, I'm really that terrible. I, I'm really terrible. That <laughs> I really have no idea what how to do so, I guess. Yeah. I guess we should go spectate now, Nitro Dust. They already started? Oh my god. Oh no, my god. it's just, you know. Yeah, I'll do that. Don't worry. Don't worry. I mean, we, we gotta keep up appearances that we are so organized. You know what's awesome? For some reason, I, my. My drawing other team key has been rebound. Awesome. <laughs> All right, there it is. Okay, I guess we could do a proper introduction. Uh, hello, everyone. I'm the Ar Armed Penguin, and I'm joined here today by Nitrodust. Say hello, Nitrodust. Say hello, Nitrodust. Oh, wait, wait, sorry. Hey, Penguin, how are you? Very nice, and we're just here waiting for this uh, little match of tribes that is flamboyant against Pelican, and that is the last match in the EUTL group stage division one. And uh, if flamboyant takes this, or at least wins two maps, they get first place and first seed coming into coming to, coming into the playoffs. Yeah, flamboyant hasn't lost a single match yet, which is they're really strong this, this season. Uh, well, Vertigo took a map off them, but uh, I mean, winning against Vertigo in itself, it's pretty amazing. And Pelican were not too bad themselves against Vertigo, uh, winning one map, but unfortunately not the whole series. Yeah, so Pelican pretty much has to win here to, to have a chance to advance. Uh, actually, from what I understand, and I may be wrong here, it's, it's either all teams advance, and the, the group is just to determine seeding, or the first three teams advanced like uh, they did it in uh, in the NA scene. Yeah, then it kind of actually makes sense because uh, NMZ already uh, forfeit at the beginning, so Pelican kind of kind of moves moves ahead anyway. Yes, but uh, if Pelican Pelican in Pelican is at eight points at the moment, so if they win all three maps tonight, they will take first spot. So yep, or if, yep. so definitely you know. Oh, well, Lombardek just teams. said the top three have advanced, so pretty much everybody is advancing because NMZ had to had to give up. Yeah, uh, and uh, whoever you know, whoever gets fourth place, which looks like it will be enemy in the other division, will also you know get out and drop into the relegation playoffs. I think. But yeah, uh, thank you, Lumberjack, for clearing that up, and uh, we're just now waiting for players. Well, actually, everyone is here. Yeah, so. everyone's here. This should be moving soon, then. I'll just... Alright, everybody's ready? No, doesn't look like uh, they are at the moment. Yeah, apparently not. Cat just said they are not... Uh, not ready. Cat's still rocking the uh, Aurum tag. For some reason, they didn't they didn't start this season, which is a pity. Yeah, I think Pelican are going with a bit of a odd team when where their team just I don't know if anyone actually rocks the Pelican or Bird clan tag. Yeah, I don't think so. I mean, we got I am Noltmark. <laughs> uh, that's wrong. He should be I am video games. Obviously. Yeah, he's video games. That's true. He he incorporates the spirit of video games so much. Yep, and Immune is rocking the on top clan tag, and we also see Fidget with uh, um, Mist in action, I think that is. Yeah, looks and like it. MIA. Missing in with, action, uh, yeah. Black with the walking inventory station. Not walking inventory station, what am I talking about? Uh, Hulax wins, of course, that uh, the half European team that uh, wrecked the. well, almost wrecked the NA scene. Oh, yeah. Because. Because Europeans are obviously OP. Yes. <laughs> that's that's the entire reason, basically. And of course, who likes wins as proven by the you no know, title. 
Hey, yeah, if, yeah. You la if you lock too hard, they can't hit you. Proof is these. Of course, he. You know, number one like sniper you. Yeah, yeah. But uh, as a sniper, lagging isn't so important. I mean, I think uh, black lagging so much as a cap um, will really help in, in NA. <laughs> Yes, and uh, <laughs> Kenneth is pimping out his stream a bit in, in chat. Yeah, the problem is nobody will see it because I'm not streaming the, uh, the thing yet. But if you want to see Kenneth's view, it's twitch.tv slash mxkenneth. Also, also Kensai, Kensai is streaming. Yeah. Oh yeah, Kensai, he also has a stream usually. Yeah, yeah. So if you go to uh, slash Kensai with an X, you can also see Kensai's viewpoint. Yep, if you have a beastly internet that can handle two streams at once, feel free to do so. Just, you know, don't go away, please. Please. We, <laughs> we would miss you very much. I mean, this stream is really low bit rate anyway, so it should it should run without a problem. Let's hope so. Now we're just waiting for... I don't know, they're basically doing some tactics shenanigans at the end, I don't know. I don't know. Maybe, maybe it's uh, a psych psychological warfare. I don't know. And uh, also I see, well, you guys don't see it yet unless Nightbotest has switched the stream, but uh, there's a lot of high ranks in here. And, well, the only one that isn't rank 46 or higher is Chikenyu, which is Tasty Ham stream. Stream? Oh. What am I talking about? It's, mm, Smurf, that's it. Smurf, yes. Oh, I was always wondering who Chikenyu was. Why doesn't he run with uh, Tasty Ham? Doesn't he want people to know that he's t running Tasty routes? Uh, maybe he he likes the XP. I don't know. He wants uh, to hit rank fifty again or something. Maybe, maybe. Yeah. Uh, also, I think it's a joke. A joke, you know. He has tasty ham and chicken. You, you know, chicken <laughs> taste. Tasty chicken. Well, yeah, we're still waiting for him to to move. Can it? Flamboyant seems ready. Uh, yeah. They're just. So you I know, guess we're waiting for. Oh, Lil also said they are they are ready. Casa also ready. Yes. All right, then we should be starting any any time now. I'm just disappointed that uh, Tasty Ham is not running with the foul clan tag because you know foul chicken. It makes for a nice joke. Uh huh. <laughs> yes, I am that amazing at jokes. I know, guys. Oh yeah, I, I'll be here all week. All right, Just the all changed, here. and uh, so we can actually go into the game now. What to do? All right, Ray, and let's do a quick roster round down on uh, Blood Eagle. We have Pelican with Narc, Fidget, Little Cat, Black, Immune, and Tasty Ham. While on uh, Demon Sword we have Team Flamboyant with Kenneth, Jx3, Aru, Shrek, Kangzai, Fingon, Melor, and JPY. And I notice that I have to change the the overlay. Hang on. <laughs> oh, professional, professional. Well, everyone does it because you know, picking sides and everything. Yeah, yeah, it's kind of annoying. People will see frozen picture. Now. Oh, and apparently Nordsmark is not playing because his ping is amazing at the moment. Uh, are we are we gonna blame High Res for that? Well, that or internet or actually lease web, but anyway. Amsterdam servers, what can you do? And we start with uh, immune sniping, of course. Cat on stand for Pelican. And Narc playing Eldia, I assume, if I can find him, which I can't. Anyway, Fidget, Black, and whoever is left, which is... No, actually, Narc is on offense and Little is playing LD, never mind. Well, JPR uh -huh. already killed Immune. Uh, that was quick. Yep, uh, and Tasty Ham is of course capping for Team Pelican. While on Flam we have Fingon and Shrek on defense with... Uh, Kensai is already Jax. coming in for root. Okay, I'll do, do, do that later anyway. Uh, Kensai doesn't get out. Nope. Melor grabs it and gets a punt off. There is uh, JPY and if, but he is spotted and Little's gonna retrieve this no problemo. Easy peasy. Oh, but who has the flag is Kenneth. Uh, looks doesn't look to be a route. Nope. He is slow. He gets killed. And Cat will return this any minute now. Well, actually, he's uh, babysitting it. 
Yep. Uh, anyway, uh, we have Fincon on stand, Jack's rule on LD, and Shrek on Shrek sniping for Team Flamboyant. Well, we have Kangzai and Kenneth double capping. Kenneth actually going offense now. Uh, Melor and JP also the other two on offense. Now this I time is coming in for his route, and he grabs the flag, gets out clean. Full health. Full health. Full Good health. Speed. Soldier capping. Unless they manage to get, I mean, the flag is on the stand. He, it will be on the stand now. Cat is out of position. JP is on the base. He is low. He's gonna e grab it. He gets shot down. Uh, Tasty Ham is low though, and there's a big crash coming in from Flam. A bow all oh, missed the flag. The flag gets bounced around a like shit ton. Sorry for my language. And uh, Mellor is there out, for the e grab. But Fidget still has the flag, so it's still hard. Mellor gets the flag to return. And Fidget finally gets the cab, and it's 1 to 0 for Flamboy. Uh, Pelican, sorry. Yep, uh, Pelican gets the first first blood, first cap on the board, so let's see how Flam reacts to that. They are the slight favorites in this matchup, but uh, Pelican have proven to be very strong in this uh, season, so we will see what happens. Now, Kenneth is dueling out Immune, who cannot deal with uh, the shield back with uh, his poor shotgun. <laughs> Also, Kenneth uh, knows how to shoot. Yeah. It's all, always a problem. Yeah, Kenneth is kind of good too, you know. He's a pretty good player. Not as amazing as me, obviously, but anyway. Uh, we have uh -huh. here... Uh, yes. I'm joking, guys. Please don't kill me. Anyway, uh, we do see... Who do we see? We see Kangzai on a side-to-side. -side, and he's coming in from the right. Little tries to meet him. He misses. And he's completely out clean. Immune is in front of him. He gets a big snipe though, so. However, he goes down, and unless there's a crash here or some very important chain from Black, he's make. Oh, oh, oh he, he misses! Gets by no, there he, he goes, okay. gets the cap. <laughs> yeah, Kangza with the equalizing cap, but that was close. Fingon actually body blocked his own capper, so that was a bit uh, hairy, to say the least, anyway. <laughs> well, he's a good half, he knows how to body block. Yeah, well, you know, Let's see instincts. Kenzai is setting up for another round, and so is Tasty Ham at the back there. So yeah. we get some time now until something happens. Yeah, at the moment, not much. There's only JP here, here dealing with Little. Actually, JP going in and now throwing some knives at Little. Nark is going for Shrek as an elf, probably. Actually, yep. Nark okay. and Fidget at the same time, maybe. What? No? Immune oh. has spotted Kangzai though, and he is missing unfortunately, and uh, Kangzai gets his region, but... Uh, okay, so uh, that's plan B. Kenneth just grabs the flag. Let me switch, goddammit. I have no idea what's going on, but Kenneth is on the other side of the base at the moment. Which is fantastic for him, and uh, <laughs> Tasty Ham misses his route. Maybe not... well, he should be used to not having reached it by now, but... Uh, that's still not good, and cap. it's gonna cast... Yeah, it's gonna cost them uh, this cap, because... He was, the stand was pretty much clear, and Tasty Ham should have had that. Yep, 2 to 1 Oopsie for Flamboy Daisy. now. Yeah, I didn't see Tasty Ham there, so. Too bad. Oh, uh, that, was, that was really unfortunate. Yes, and uh, so far, I mean, the flags have gone out quite easily. I mean, it, it is arcs, it is not that hard to get the flag off the stand, but uh, still, uh, crash, the crash from both teams has not been that effective. Seems that TCM is doing a back to front, uh, front to back. Uh, he gets a flag, he's half health. Yep, he gets that. Uh, oh, he, he gets, gets that nice. Out. Exactly, like he gets that nice uh, aqueduct bounce, but unfortunately, Shrek was up and just got a nice snipe on him. However, Kenneth, not this time on a route, on a soldier route, and uh, he is pretty much out. He has taken some damage, he, and he has that. someone in front of him. Fidget is trying to get a conk, but doesn't really make it. Oh! Oh, he gets taken down. Kensai picks it up. But Nog is still there. Ooh, Kensai's really low. Yep, but Fingon is there, heals. He's gonna grab that. And uh, however, Tasty Ham is out with the flag, and uh, unless someone snipes him on. Oh, oh no, he, he crashed. <laughs> he lost a lot of speed there. He dead stopped uh, in the aqueduct, unfortunately, and now he's gonna just uh, throw it off to nobody. Which is something you don't want to do, especially with JP in the vicinity. Unfortunately for JP, he wasn't so close. Oh, but JP, JP! <laughs> he throws the a melee, nice black goose down. Cat picks it up. Luckily. Yep. 
this seems like a Pelican has cleared the, the crash for now, but Kenneth is still coming in, and so is Kangzai with, uh, with some Murphs. Immune snipes out Kenneth, and there's only Kangzai left, but uh, he is, you know, he has two people on him, and... Yep, he goes down by, by virtue of a spin fuser of black. And I think this is the first standoff of the game for now. Yeah, they're both signing up. Um, I'm looking at the flamboyant stand. Ooh, Fizam goes in, but he gets chained out immediately. Yep, and Fidget and Nark are just now coming in. Nark has been spotted, I think. I don't see him anymore. Oh, he's on the other side now. And Fidget is coming in uh, with grenades, with everything, and not no damage at all on Shrek. Uh, Nark is now trying to do something, but uh, shield back to good. He gets taken out too. Let's check the other side. Yeah, it seems. Oh a no, bit, uh, it drops. No, it don't, didn't drop. Sorry. It's just a misplaced pass, I'm sure. Anyway, there's a lot of things going on on the, the Pelican side, but Immune seems uh, to be holding it uh, very nicely. Uh, Kangzai is the only one left, and he has very little health, so he'll go down and we'll have a full reset. Oh, Kangzai <laughs> manage, manages to get cat with the, with his last ditch mortar, but no dice. Still on the Pelican, let's stay on the Pelican side for now. See both Melor, JP, Kenneth all crashing front. And Kangtai a bit behind. Uh, you know, he's in a fatty, so he's a bit slower. Big nades coming in from Melor, takes little very low and uh, chains him out, so now oh, it's Immune uh, goes JP. down, no, only Cat is alive. Yep, uh, Cat is running with it, he's rabbiting a bit, so JP and Melor, everyone chasing. Now Little has respawned and he is coming in in support of his teammate, but Cat goes down and Little's gonna, gr is gonna grab this. It's very close, Melor probably gonna get this, yes Mellor he does. gets the return. But there is taste come on the stand and immediate immediate he grab. Which is very nice. They probably told him, yeah, we're gonna go down, and he's like, okay guys, don't worry, I'm on the stand, I got this. Yep, and they're now covering Tasty Ham very well and I think we'll move into another standoff. Well, technically it's the same standoff, but still. <laughs> oh nice Kong by Kenneth, but uh, it's oh well it's actually Speaking might be is still around. He gets chained out though, but Tasty Ham is also really low. That was a very dangerous Kong. The flag basically flew almost towards uh, the aqueduct, which signalized this, the the half, you know, one half of the map is this. Anyway, we see uh, Melor coming in, and he's throwing grenades. He's throwing grenades, and he's not doing much. And he's gonna go down any minute now, unless JP does something crazy. He just uncloaks. He needs three knives to kill Little. Doesn't connect with any of them for now. And Little's still pretty much alive. And Shrek drops the flag on the other side in a desperate punt at the last second. Little, Little also basically does the off. same. But Pelican Flags to have cleared everyone. No, Kangsai is coming in. He gets a nice shot on Cat, but Cat goes down unfortunately. Well, and this uh, stand is still going on, but uh, Flamboyant has a. Cannon has the strike at. And that's the second best uh, striker in the EU ever since the soccer tournament. <laughs> oh yes, of course. And uh, let's check out the flamboyant defense for this one. As we see, Tastyham is already here and uh, throwing some bolt launcher shot from afar, not doing really much. Narc and uh, and Black are climbing up the hill and uh, now doing some damage. Tastyham's coming in. He'll try some Kongs. He misses, unfortunately, and gets chained out. Doesn't get a second chance. Oh, another Play punk by free. Black. Fidget's gonna get oh, it. Yeah, he with hero. Oh, yeah, Fidget with the hero return. Very nice. Very nice count by Black, I think. And then Fidget just gets it. Kind of tries the shrike grab, but gets conked by a little on the stand. Very nice play. And Cat is coming in. He's very low. He might die on the stand. He does. The flag is down. It bounces everywhere. Fidget picks it up. Melor and Kangsa are still there. Kangsa dies. Fidget Less goes up. Count. Goes to the stand and equalizes. 2-2-2. Two, two, two. Well, to no one because it's a draw, but cap to Pelican. And uh, the Shrike, Kenneth Shrike, was stolen by Black and it has very little health, so. <laughs> I wouldn't be surprised to see the Shrike sniped out, which would be pretty amazing. It has 234 health, definitely doable. Yeah, he, he's, he's sneaking out the side of the map now. Yep, and there's some big chain coming in towards the Shrike. It's a bit long range, one chain connects. Two chain connects and there he goes. Melor <laughs> takes it back down <laughs> while he was on his offense route. Yeah. You know, JP. JP is uh, hiding at the back. 
Yeah, he may, he may be going for an infiltrator grab actually. Yeah, looks like it. Oh, he's very slowly going, yep. and he gets the grab. At the whopping speed of, well, if it... 150. <laughs> yes, Hyres, thank you for letting me select uh, the right player. That's very appreciated. Anyway, the flag is a bit off. Jextria Ru is ready to, uh, to return that. But there's a lot of crash coming in by Pelican Narc to get gets the grab. And the flag gets picked up by Kenneth. There's a uh, tasty come on him, but he goes down. There's also Cat there, away from the stand. Gets a nice shot with uh, with the Devastator. And Kenneth passes it off to Fingon. And and now, the uh, if they get the timed return, Try there's still a lot of people the on the return. stand. Now they get the return. And Yep, Fingon gets it. Uh, unfortunately, Fidget was not fast enough to get the grab or the kill. Oh, well, that was that was nicely done. Oh, and TCM got out F front to back, but mm. apparently yeah, he tried out. Tastyham with his tasty roots of you know front to back into the active bounce, but unfortunately bounced awkwardly and lost all his speed. And probably okay. also it was a you know an eager route, so he didn't have as much speed as he usually does on those on that route. Probably. Kensa is saying yeah. that's another route. Yeah, yeah, we're seeing a very close game here. 3 2, still uh, half the match to uh, to play for, and uh, I don't know, I could see this going either way. Both teams are doing very well, and the only standoff so far has gone in favor of uh, Pelican, I believe. Or wait, were there two standoffs? I am confused, there was one. forgive me, guys. There was one. There's and so much going on, Pelican I can't keep track of it. Anyway, Melor spots uh, Tasty Ham and uh, his sniper Shrek just, you know, kills him from the other side of the map, which was a pretty amazing shot. However, Nark is trying an infcrab himself, but goes down almost immediately. However, there is Fidget in midfield. He'll try to fidget this back to his grab. base. Full health. Doesn't really work. Yeah, Kengza is out, and uh, the flag will get returned any minute now. Yes, he does, and N Nark and Tasty Ham are crashing, but uh, will they beat Kengza? Nar goes down by chain by finger, but Tastyham is coming in on side to side. Will he get it? No, he gets no. hit by JP and Kangsai gets the fourth cap. Yeah, it's 42 for Flamboy now. The last few camps have been really quickly. I mean, for the for first two, it took them like 10 minutes, and the next two, two or three. <laughs> yeah, Pelican slipping a bit, maybe, but uh, let's see if they can uh, pull this back. And uh, I see Shrek already snapping out Narc in Infiltrator, and I'm curious if he has spotted uh, Tastyham. He's really very close there. Yep, I think he has. And his yeah, region he's... is intact now. I don't know. At least Shrek for now. Doing really looking. Oh no! Oh, wait. there he is. Ah, he snipes, he snipes him out. Never mind, he was on 7 health, which means uh, he yep. took a small snipe and that was basically the end of his route. He still kept going, but Shrek just said, no, you're not gonna grab with 7 HP. Well, this, this has been cleaned up. Yep. Yes, and speaking uh, of grabs, Kangzai gets one on a side to side, and uh, the whole. Uh, but basically, three people respond in chase just in front of him, so very unlucky for Kangzai, and he crashes into the pillar after taking a lot of damage. A bit lucky with the spawns there, Pelican. The little and Black cleaned that up. Yeah, both uh, teams are setting up again. Yep, but uh, Tasty Ham is still. You know, he's an American, he likes to do cowboy capping, and gets out on that one, but. Uh, not so far, uh, because, well, Chase. And no one was really uh, clearing the stand because they were all chasing uh, Kangzai earlier, so... Yep, now we reset, and uh, we should see uh, a wild Kangzai doing a route anytime soon. No, he's actually at the base, so yeah, Kenner got anybody. sniped out. Or... Kenner yeah, might be coming setting in. up now. Oh, wait, no, Kenner is just hanging out on the side. Yep, Kangzai. Oh, I see that. I saw a close snipe. Uh, so the sniper has already spotted Kangzai. Nice, nice job by Immune. And he's shooting him again, but missing so far. And the uh, Kangzai will meet Tasty Ham now. So let's see if anyone takes out each other. Whoa, yes, Kangzai. Kangzai! Nice. <laughs> Kangzai gets a spin fuse shot on Tasty Ham. Very nice. Now he's coming in. Stand is clear. He's out. Out and off to the races, as a certain caster would say, but there's a lot of crash spawning and Fidget oh. in front of him gets the conk nicely done. Kenzai picks, picks it, it up, up again, again and punts it. Yeah, very nice punt, Kenneth pick it up and he, is ki he keeps going. There's Cat behind him, he's one shot, he punts to stand, Fingon will pick this up there, very nice, and he's gonna land on the stand for a fifth cap. And also Tasty Gun misses the flag, unfortunate after. It's and getting tight for, for uh, Pelican now. It 
Taysom got the grab, but, but he only managed to punt it. But there's nobody there to pick it up, so this might this might go somewhere. Oh, Kangs, I Ooh. almost made a meter pickup. Oh no, there. Nice crash. Yeah, nice crash by Pel uh, Pelican, by Flamboyant actually, to deny Pelican uh, keeping that flag alive. Very nicely, very nice punt, but unfortunately with the bounce you have to wait like five minutes to fall for the flag to fall down, so... You know, it, <laughs> it gives Flamboyant plenty of time to get there and retrieve it. Anyway, Black is throwing in a route now? No, he's in Raiders, so... I don't know, he's sliding on a back, so he might be doing a static. Fingon is distracted, uh, shooting a bit of... shooting Fidget. And now he sees Black, gets a shot on him, but uh, Shield Pack eats most of that. So he's now uh, out and through midfield, but very low on, on his health. Still, Shield Pack is helping him uh, being alive. JP is there in front, there's a... Pa uh, maybe a bit risky. Oh, Tastyham picks it up just in front of JP, who then kills Tastyham. And he may be getting this. Yes, he ah, does. Nice, nice return there. Kangzai hurts coming in on a back fidget. Oh, Kangzai bounces off the... Yeah, he bounced off the ledge. And JX3 Aru is going to pick this up, but gets shotgunned by fidget. Actually, wait, Shrek is an offense, JX3 is an offense. Basically, everyone went... Everyone was an offense from Flamboyant in that one. <laughs> Cannot get skunked. <laughs> And get this uh, Yes. Jason yes, is coming does. in and he gets stopped by Fingen. Blat. <laughs> Another grab by JPY, this time on a front to back in Pathfinder. Very lone held one snipe shoot, uh, basically, and all hopes. Oh, there's Kangzai coming in. Will we see esports? No, no, JP says. No. no. Well, Kangzai was kind of far away, to be honest. I don't know, it could have worked. And the JP is now taking <laughs> big snipes. Yeah, 33 health. And Ark is in front of him, he's trying to kill him with some chain, missing so far. And he punts it over him. Trying big bounce on that front. Okay, the flag just bounced the aqueduct, that was nice. And uh, JP is gonna pick this up, little crashing. He might get the conk, no, JP is, bounces up in, in the air. Using lightweight, he it's got the bad. boost from Rage, so so he went way up in the air, and the flag is now in the standoff position, just ready for JP, who just spawned there, which is very amusing, considering. But uh, also understandable, considering Diamond Sword has the advantage, well, not the advantage, but they spawn on the V-Pad, while uh, Blood Eagle spawns mainly on the Sniper Hill, which is the hill to the, to the right of the base, or to the left, depending on which side you're on. <laughs> anyway. Uh, that is the hill where Cat is at the moment for Team Pelican, and he's under a bit of uh, long-range mortar fire by Kangsai. Kenneth is also with Kangsai coming in. But, uh, from uh, point, just cleaning up the first push from Pelican, without any any problems at all. Yep, and Kenneth and Kangsai have conquered the the right hill, but now they're moving in towards the V-pad where uh, Pelican decided to you know to make their nest, and. Uh, <laughs> Yeah, and we just, you know, Meller's coming in, uh, gets metered by Cat. Cat is really believe. low, though. Well, he's a heavy, so that's a lot of health still, even though it's easy to chain. Oh, the flag gets returned, so Cat can cap it. No, he gets grenaded. Little picks it up though, and so does Kenneth. Ken so very nice by flag. E he's gonna get yep. down any second now. Yep, Little is alone with JP. Oh, he got the return. Pass it off to Tasty Hammond. He's gonna get this five to three. Pelican keeping this alive, they still have 5 minutes to go, and uh, only a 2 cap deficit, so definitely can come back from this. Yeah, they can definitely get into uh, overtime at least. Yeah, but before great grenade by Kenneth to kill Cat on the stand and uh, preventing the cap just momentarily, unfortunately, it was not enough for his team and they capped anyway, but yeah, still. Some were, were already dead, so good try there, yeah, good try. Still, it's good to see those clutch plays coming in. And Kangsa is just now setting up in the background, and I don't see Tasty Ham. Oh, Tasty Ham just got sniped. did an infiltrator route. Yeah, and he's out. I mean, he has 300 health. Kangsa is coming towards him. Will he elect for the esports this time? I'm not sure. No, Kangsa just stops. So. He's too, too far up. Ah. But where I would Kangsa go anyway? He would just go back to the, to the enemy stand. Kangsa managed to pick it up. And he has escorting Kenneth, who just murders little with his strike. Well, you know what to say with a 
birds and airplanes, they don't get along. Anyway, uh, we Nar gets sniped by Shrek, who is gonna pick this flag up, but the uh, black... Huh? Yes, uh, yeah. I don't know if he killed him, or Kenneth uh, killed his own teammate with the Shrek, because I missed the kill for that, uh, that occasion, but... Yeah, apparently, black killed Trippy Y, so I believe he got him. Yay. Oh no, both teams have a Shrek up. And, uh... Chicken U is coming in. Oh, just in time as the flag gets returned by the timer. Uh, Chicken U, aka okay, Tasty, Tasty Ham, gets out, but that's. He has to punt it. And JP White gets killed Ooh. by something. I don't know what, but he got killed and JP is gonna retrieve it. There was two strikes in the field, basically, Kenneth, and uh, that's Fidget. And Fidget is at the moment fidgeting Kenneth in the strike, so there's that. <laughs> Kenneth, he's, he's shooting at Cat on the stand. Yep, for shopping. any, for anyone that might not be aware, fidgeting is a term invented, well, provided by Fidget, who likes to duel out other offense players while he is on offense. Anyway, Fingon has taken his precautions and he's using a saber launcher now, which is the obviously skillful weapon, and he's now chasing Fidget. The strike duel, well, it's not really a duel; they're just passing each other a bit, but it's still going on. Kenneth now has spotted Black on his route, and he misses. The shots. Black is running safe, also no dice with the with any ram. And Fidget goes with the oh, nice body block by Fink on there. Fidget went with the with the shrike grab, but he got killed. Well, body blocked on the stand and that and then killed. Nicely done by the standy there from from team flamboyant Fidget. Yeah, on the other side, well, Kensei got sniped out on his route, so both have to set up again. Meanwhile, the duel between Kenneth and Black is still going on, and Black is still alive, but uh, under a lot of sniper fire by Shrek. However, he's getting his re he's getting his regen, so he's going in now. Yeah, he's <laughs> despite everything, Black is still coming in, but I gets, uh, gets thrown out of the way by the bus launcher from uh, Fingon. The bus launcher, yes, that's pretty much it. Yeah. Yeah, and uh, Kangzai tried to get the flag, but missed, and. Uh, well, now he's hiding in the tunnels in shame, and now gets killed by Black. Ah. Well, meanwhile, Tasium is coming in and the route, the back to front, the classic one. JP grabs it. JP grabs an infiltrator, but gets down. Kenneth doesn't jump out of the strike to try and pick it up, and Cat will return this. Tasium comes in, but it's a full stand, and Fingon just hugs him with his super heavy. Oh yes. Fingon's big manly shoulders. Oh. <laughs> on that note, Fidget just grabbed the flag on a uh, front to back as uh, who is the other guy? Mellor was out with it. Mellor oh, is on just standing on the back. Oh, on the front to back too, so they're just chilling basically, basically buying time because it's only 40 seconds remaining and it's 5-3. So Flamboyant really only needs to hold the flag out here, but Kenneth is very low and one snap should do it. So I don't know, uh, Black goes down, so if they return this, this might be any hope, yep, yeah, I think that's any hope coming Should from, be, uh, yeah, that's all the birds hope have been, you know, obliterated for, for this match. Kenneth is just gonna stroll around with this flag, but with that 10 seconds remaining, there's no way they're gonna get a cap and a grab, so, that's map number one to Team Flamboyant, and, uh, we will see if Pelican manages to bring something uh, something out on uh, on Catabatic. I mean, they played really well in this map. This was a very close map, and yep. at the point that I lost all track of time, and I was like, oh, there's one minute remaining. Yeah, that's probably why <laughs> they're holding the flag back there. <laughs> there's just so much action going on, and also see, big fragging counts uh, much bigger on uh, the flamboyant side. I mean, everyone has more than 15 kills. Actually, yeah, more than 16. even Kansa, I mean, he's the capper. <laughs> well, I guess he got a lot of fragging to do in standoffs, but uh, yeah, on the on the Pelican side, well, everyone in a, except for the capper, Tastyham is, uh, has more than 10 kills, so still good on their side, but uh, you know, when you see the immune is the one with the most kills on 32, and you see Jax Triaru with 43, Kenneth with, 40, with 34, Mellor with 32, you know, it's kind of... Yeah, flamboyant really uh, outfragged, uh, outfragged pelican there. Yep, but despite that, I mean, still five to three. It's a very close scoreline, and uh, pelican has chosen to be bloody eagle. 
It's a level, right? I always forget. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. And I've seen someone in chat ask if are all those players Pelican. Well, uh, the ones that don't have a flamboyant clan tech are. They don't seem to use their usual bird clan tech or anything. They just go with every yeah, clan tech ever. Like every coming from tag. every clan tech, you know, from former teams that they were in. So, I don't know. Except from Nordsmark, who doesn't need, who may be coming in now. I don't know. Yeah, we're still missing one person. Nordsmart's ping seems to be fine. It's steady at 28 for now, so we'll see if uh, his ping issues persist. And also, let's see who he... He looks to be replacing Nark, it seems. However, we're still missing one player, so we'll just wait a bit. But yeah, uh, basically, if uh, Flamboyant wins one more map, uh, they will place into first seed with 14 points. Uh, well, first place and automatically get first seed. So, uh, with uh, three, three teams progressing from each division, that is, they'll basically get the buy into the semifinals. So, they'll, they'll have to play a game less. Which is very useful. And also. Yeah, also, I'm trying to say remembers what I was about to say, but uh, unfortunately, it ex escapes me. Much like uh, both Tastyham and uh, Kangsay did on the other, in the first match uh, in Arcs, which ended 5-3 to Team Flamboyant, who well outfragged. You know, going by the kill board, they outfragged their opponents, but uh, it was still a very close game with uh, a lot of clutch plays. So, if you are just tuning in now, I uh, recommend watching the VOD later on when the game is over. But now we're switching, yes, no, no maybe, they, they no. don't anymore. They started switching, but they stopped. Okay, Kenneth apparently has a weak bladder, and now everyone knows it on stream, so... Yeah, yeah, I mean, he can't change it, I mean... It's, 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 it's just not nerves, I mean. Yeah, yeah I mean, in, in this in this high-profile game, I mean, it's a pro league. A group stage, the last match. Yep, and since it's the group stage, all three maps get played because it's also about uh, the points. Well, you get two points from every map you win, and uh, if ima I imagine if you have the same points in the in the league, you the caps act as tiebreakers, basically. That's what I was trying to say. Yeah, it's kind of like in most big uh, soccer or something like that leagues. Yes, football leagues, yes. Football. Oh yes, football. You know, you know how sensitive Europeans. Yeah, yeah, are. it's not well, eggball, we, it's football. Yeah, yeah. Sorry. We Europeans are, even though soccer is an English term. But anyway, it's no, it's not English. It's the... American. No, it's actually <laughs> comes from association football. It's shortened soccer. Anyway, uh, this is tribes, right, guys? Guys. Oh, uh, oh, 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 yeah. I heard, I heard this tribes game. It's free to play, by the way, and you can download it uh, from tribesascent.com. Isn't it awesome? Wow. So yeah, yeah. we're still... Oh, they are finally... No, they are not changing anymore. <laughs> Wait, what, what the hell is going on? They always start like two or three people move over, but then they, then they stop again. And... Uh, I don't know, there's 13 people in the Oh, no, it's 14 so... people. We have everybody in there. Oh. So we should go live soon. Yes. <laughs> They're basically, it's like musical chairs. They're like, on the chair, off the chair, on the chair, off the chair. <laughs> Just switching and switching and switching. <laughs> yeah, and uh, Lumberjack is getting a bit uh, antsy in the, in the chat, going, go already. Yeah, yeah, well, why aren't they moving? No cursing, please. But nobody, nobody was cursing. Well, you know, Kenneth is very young, and he if he hear, hears some of these words, he might, you know, get yeah, upset yeah. or mentally... Yeah, we can start to do drugs hurt. and uh, rob rob a grocery store. I, I know how this works. Yeah, and, you know, rob some. Uh, All right, some dear, moving again, and we're starting in ten seconds. Great. Good. 
I wasn't go back to the uh, sure. Five. I wasn't sure what, where I was going with that analogy. Three. Anyway, rosters <laughs> random. Now we have Five. Pelican and Blood Eagle with Black Nordsmark subbing in for Nark. Immune Lulu Cat Chicken You okay, test, Tasty Ham Fidget. And on Diamond Sword we have Flamboyant with Shrek, Jack Triaru, Kenat, Melor, Fingon, Kangsai, and JPY. Nordsmark uh, using his Smurf because his uh, real account is of course video games. Video games, video games the best. Yes, and he will take Nark's place in offense, probably playing Brute. Yes. Yep. We all... Nordsmark loves that Brute. Yep. Anyway, Kangsai and uh, Tasty Ham spot each other, I, I assume, on the route. Kangsai's coming in on a, what looks like to be a front left, and he'll be in very soon. Ch Chicken New Tasty Ham is going to be on a back to front, though. And Kangsai comes in. And crashes into a pillar. Uh, but, oh, Chicken You got out though. Got killed on his route, but nobody saw Chicken You, I believe. And he got out with just a little bit of damage. Yeah, he has about 500 health, and if they manage to retrieve this now, JPY is in front of him. He gets the kill with the knives, but gets sniped out by Immune. Little trying to pick this up. He gets it, but there's a crash coming in by Kangsai. He's the only one there. No, there's also Melor. Oh, nice kill by someone, and Melor gets killed, and unfortunately. And they have finally the cap. <laughs> One to zero for Pelican. Yes, that was a bit of a clusterfuck on the stand, but again, like on Arcs, first blood goes to Pelican. And uh, they get the first cap, let's see if they manage to win it. I think there were some good nades there. I mean, so many people blew up by, by nades. <laughs> never underestimate the pineapps, and never underestimate uh, the chickens, as Tasty Ham is out, uh, well, no. He gets sniped out by Frack. Uh, that was actually a suicide, so either he messed up his rock pounds, or I don't know. Oh, yeah, probably. Yeah. I don't know. Oh, yes, he probably got killed on, on this rock. Yeah, too bad. Fidget picks it up now. And gets... the, the, there's only taste come on defense now for uh, Pelican, as everyone got cleared out, and Kenneth gets out. But he takes big snipes, and maybe he should have let Kangsai grab it on, uh, on a route. Gets a nice rock pounce, but uh, 160 health. Now JP is coming to help him, so I think we'll move into a standoff, unless Black uh, is under a big trouble. No, he seems to have Fidget to help him, but there's still a lot of... Oh, Black nice dropped conk it. by... Nice conk by uh, whoever it was. I uh, missed it, unfortunately, but Jack Steeru is trying to do something again, and uh, not happening. Shrek is still there above with uh, Sentinel, and he's probably gonna snipe out uh, Tasty Ham, who is now passing it to Immune, who may engage in some sniper wars with Shrek. Yes, he does. He gets first blood on Shrek. Let's see, will he hit another? Everyone is focusing Shrek now, and Shrek managed to get the big snipe on Immune too, so. Cat finally picks up the flag, and they are probably all going into standoff positions now. Yep, uh, Pelican are just moving in, Flam are already in their standoff position, and their offense is already basically at their base, so JP is here an infiltrator sneaking about. Let's see if he manages to get some clutch melee on Little. He has some help. Dun -dum, dun -dum, dun -dum. No, he dun doesn't dun like dun to dun go. Dun 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 <laughs> dun dun <laughs> dun He tried to go for the melee on Cat who was using the inventory, but missed him, but then killed him with the, with the knives. And the flag gets dropped. Now there's Kangzai coming in. A little has no health. Kangzai is gonna get no. He, yes, Fingers, he's gonna get this. It's low though, but only Black is alive. So he probably will keep. Yeah. Pingon picks it up, and he's gonna get this. There's no crash. Oh at no! All. The fidget gets a, gets a Kang. Fidget out of nowhere, at least out of my sight, and. Uh, Nobody's picking it up, this up now. No, okay. Kangs is gonna pick it up. Tasty Ham's crashing front. He gets chained out. Nordsman's coming in. Gets chained out too, but ah, gets a con. So, and <laughs> like on the other side, the flag flies anywhere, but not on the stand. Oh, uh, that's how it took. Now that should work. There we go. One to one for Flamboyant. Yep, a lot of great Kongs coming in from Pelican, but uh, Flamboyant ultimately manages to get the flag on the stand, and now Kenneth is out with it. Full held, well, almost after the last night run, and snipes coming in from Immune, no, yes. Uh, immune is kind of in an awkward position in midfield, so he's not able to get many snipes. Kenneth is basically home with this, and Tasty Ham needs to, is crashing, he's not on a route, he doesn't get it, unfortunately, and Kenneth's gonna cap, yep, 2-1 two, two, to Team Flamboyant, turning it around very quickly. Now we have Black on a route, side to side, he may have, no, he's... He screwed up his route probably, so he just stops. 
don't know, not much is happening. Kensei gets a flag, wow. Yeah, capping one by one. Holy crap. Uh, but Kensei gets sniped out. Yep, and I think Fidget's gonna retrieve this uh, with no problem, so... On the on the flam side, we see Tasty Ham coming in very soon on what looks to be side to side with maybe some fancy rock bounce. Yep, there's the fancy rock bounce. Nordsmark is the only one on the stand. He gets big shots on Fingon, get, manages to kill him, and Tasty Ham is out. Full health, no real chase except for Kang's eye. And uh, Mellor is on the stand. Kenneth's coming in on a route. Kenneth gets out. Very clutch e grab by Kenneth. And. Now uh, they'll move into a standoff unless they retrieve this. Uh, he, I think he managed to pen the stand, but fidget, fidget with a hero return, nicely done, and that's a cap for Pelican. Two, two, two again. Two. Wow, this is a close game. So many that caps. I mean, four caps in five minutes. Damn. Yeah, a, bit, a little bit over five minutes, and uh, very nice return by fidget who shot the flag into him, and uh, someone from Plam overshot it, and now Black is out but gets sniped by Shrek. Noltzmai is really low, so... Oh, Noltzmai actually managed to pick it up. But Mellor is behind him and he's gonna get this, yeah, and no problem at all. Unfortunately, the power of video games was not strong enough. And now uh, Tasty Ham is setting up on a route. But Kangza is very close to coming in on a, on a back to front. Has he been spotted, though? Don't see any snipe coming in his way. So I'll that assume he wasn't. Kill, got killed. Now We're he comes in, but uh, and Ken Kenta gets sniped out too. I think yep. Kenta was full health. So nobody saw him until it was really late. Yeah, but uh, Cat managed managed to title launch him off route, and yep. Testingham Testingham was out, but took a lot of damage and then died in midfield. So another reset. We're seeing like on arcs a very, very uh, you know flag heavy. First five minutes when, uh, where a lot of caps happen, and then uh, a bit of a slowdown, and then more caps happen. I hope, at least. On, la on the last map, it was uh, in favor of Flam. Those, 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 those mid-game caps. caps. But yeah, we'll see. We'll see if Pelican manages to do something different this time and actually get their get their caps themselves, which is a very good analysis because if you get caps, you win. No way. Wait, I thought I know, it right? was about defending the generators in this game. Yeah, that too. Anyway, uh, there's Kenneth coming in on what looks Kenneth to be is down. front left. Kenza is also Kenza coming is in. Kenneth, uh, I think he, he cancelled his route, but Kenza is really low. He punts off the flag. Yep, misses the punt a bit, unfortunately, so he just drops it and gets sniped. And uh, it's an awkward spot, but uh, I think they're going to retrieve this. Uh, yeah, yep. Cat is already here. And Tastyham is uh, out, uh, out and off to the races. Uh, actually, off to his flag Please as stand. It just got returned, and that's there we go. three two. Nice. Pelican taking the lead again. This was really nice. I mean, uh, Kenneth and Kenza are doing crossroads all the time. It seems. Kenneth well, it's, it seems to be working most of the time. On the last run, uh, Kenneth got pot blocked, I think, and managed to clear a bit. But uh, Kenza still took a lot of damage on the stand, so. You know, yeah. it wasn't as effective this time. Well, this time we get further as, as the last time. The last time they didn't even grab the flag. Yes. And uh, so far, no strikes yet. Um, maybe because Northmark is continuing to throw fractals into the gen room. I don't know. He's a brute. That's in his nature. That's what anyway. You do. Yeah. And maybe there's some double capping coming in from Pelican too. I mean, Black is coming in now on a ang slightly weird back, and uh, he gets body blocked by Fingon, unfortunately. Bounces right off him and passes oh. to. Ooh. Ah, that was close. <laughs> nice esports attempt uh, of a pass towards Tasty Ham, who unfortunately misses the flag just by a little bit. I think he disc jumped over it, but I might be wrong. Yeah, on your side. Okay, is coming in. Uh, well, yeah. Coming in on a <laughs> stand that wasn't clear and gets conked by one of the three pathfinders that were there, basically. Yup, yup. The, uh, nearly the entire team was there because the entire of offense was just cleaned up a few seconds earlier. Yes, and uh, now we're all basically waiting for some uh, more capping shenanigans to happen as Fidget is in Pathfinder here and basically was harassing uh, Shrek for a sec. 
And I think he has spotted Kang's eye. Maybe he'll... No? No, he's calling down an inventory, so he... Ken, is... Ken's eye doing crossroads again, but Fidget probably saw Ken's eye now. If not, I think Black should see him. Or not, Kang's is actually going really high, so I don't know if he saw is going towards Kenneth. Yeah, um, but Kenneth's gonna get this because the f flag was... Uh, the stand was completely clear, and now he's going towards Kang's eye, if he's somewhere around here. No, no, he get out this, so... No, it's yeah, worth this, attempt. This, well, what what would he do? I mean, go back to the, to the enemy stand. I mean, it would be cool well, to make it, it pass, but eh. You know, it's, they still make they still make the cap with three three tied up now. But you know, we all want to see esports play, even if they're completely needless. Because <laughs> then you can put the then you can put them in a montage and. Yeah, yeah that's true. That's true. I mean. Yeah, maybe maybe if they if they had like a large uh, lead in in the game, they could do that. Just yeah. some cool esports stuff. And put play for real in the background or something. And no, Kangza is now coming real. in, but uh, but gets sniped by immune by his power of Tau. And uh, let's see if that power actually helps his team. As Fidget is now here in infiltrator, will try to no doesn't try to melee finger, but throws stickies on the stand because that always works. And now throws many many knives. Here, here comes Nord's Mark with some shot connection and gets the kill and Tasty Ham is out. gets it. Yeah, Not Tasty really. and Black were, were doing routes. Black was setting up for back to front. Tasty Ham was not really f that fast, he was going 230 on the exit route, so I don't know. He still managed to get uh, home and nice meter pick up by Fidget. And now they're just, uh, they just need to move to the flag quickly before Kenneth gets something. Oh, he Ooh, think he got the conk. conk. Cat picks and it up. Nice meter by Cat and Melor, and he's gonna get this. This there is 4 go. to 3 for what Pelican. Is... Wow, Pelican's really keeping up. Wow. Oh, we're yeah. fault. Well, they're still very, very close teams, and uh, still half of the map to play for, so... Nobody knows what's gonna happen, and I certainly don't, but... Uh, what is going to happen is uh, Tasty Ham spotting Kang's eye, who is now coming in on a back, on an angled back actually, full stand, and he gets shot in the face by the boss. Kenneth was right behind him, but he gets blocked by Little. Yep, very Great nice play out. by by both the uh, defense, both the defense players by Pelican. Melor tried to pick it up, but uh, it got returned. Just Tasty in front coming of him in now, but he misses apparently. Yep, Black is gets... coming in on the bag apparently, soon. Also, he's still yeah. distracting. Yep, he oh, might probably get saw this. him. Ah! Oh. <laughs> Thing gets black. Thing on best boss launch. No, actually, he's in Pathfinder, so probably some Nitron slash uh, bolt launcher shenanigans. <laughs> you know those crazy kids on defense with their Nitrons and their bolt launchers. Yeah, weirdos. They should all use the boss launcher. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, Kenneth is coming in on a front left. I expect Kang's eye to come in. He has already come in and apparently got uh, cleaned up. And to manage to clear out, Kenneth, though. though. Yeah, yeah, very nice. That's 380 speed. Turn around to HP. That's pretty good. That looks really good. There's a crash coming in. Nordsmark is not going for the grab. He's trying to go for the hero meter on Kenneth. Misses, yeah. unfortunately. And that's 4 4. Yeah, that, that didn't quite work out. I don't know. Maybe he, yeah, he wasn't a fatty, so he might he might not have had enough energy to get up on the stand anyway. So yeah, that's that's a big possibility too. And Tastyham is now very high up in the air, and now coming back down on the stand, trying to shoot Fingon off. Let's see if it actually works. Uh, yeah, it does. He takes a lot of damage though, and uh, less than 472 punts it off. Punts. There's nobody in the midfield. Oh, Monosmark might be able to get it. Ah, oh, but there's Cannon and Mallow. Yeah, good shot by Nordsmark. Kills Kenneth, but unfortunately Kenneth manages to get the the return just on the last second. Oh, and again, we are tied. Wow, this game. I mean, it's Pelican, f uh, Flamboyant, and Pelican, and Flamboyant again with the points. Wow. Yeah, like, uh, back and forth, back and forth, nobody knows what's gonna happen, and uh, what is going to happen is Black being on a route together with Tastyham, so... They're on opposite sides, so this might throw off the defense a bit. And the, much like the Kenneth Kangzai combo on the other side is doing great work, but now Kangzai got sniped out by Immune, who is on a sniping spree apparently. Kenneth is still alive though, but he should. S Immune should see him any second now. Yep, uh, Fingon got some damage on Tasty Hammond's stand, ah. but he is still out. 
And 270 going through midfield. One big snap should do it, but there's a lot of people here. And Kenneth misses a bit the route. He crashes into a stand, a pillar or something. Anyway, oh, uh, Melo Mello gets returned. Nice. Yep. Melro kills, uh, I don't know if it was maybe Lil, and then just gets the return. Very nice play by him. And basically denies Pelican the fifth cap. And this is still going on. Ten more minutes remaining, and 4-4 four, four could go... I mean, I have said this many times, but could go either way. And, this uh, is anyone's game. And it's not like exactly. we, we are saying that it's 5-2-2, uh, two, two. it's anyone's game. This is really anyone's game. <laughs> yeah, and uh, we see now Melor has spotted Black on his route, and now he's dueling out immune, but he's very low, and immune just shotguns him in the face. And also there's JP with uh, with Raider spamming the stand. There should be cappers coming in any second yeah, now. Kenta yes, Kenneth is on. Kenneth is going for left to right and... Where's Kenneth? Kenneth is on the back. But uh, he's doing a static because, I don't know, he missed his route. Oh. And immune snipes out Kang's eye. I don't know if they'll uh, like to keep this Kenneth in the field might or... might be, be able to get this. Yeah, but he's... Ah, he gets killed. A millimeter before. <laughs> he was also going very slow, so... I don't know if he was able to be out with it anyway. Um, Black is coming in on a side to side now. I don't think he was spotted. Just goes over Shrek's head and yeah, he spots him and he shoots him. So no dice there and unless Tastyham is somewhere around. Uh, not really. He is on the offense hill actually. So he will be doing a bit of an awkward route. Okay, starting from the right hill. Uh, from uh, Blood Eagle side. Well, I mean, Tasium has be. many, many routes that nobody knows. Yeah, and, uh, well, I'm not exactly the right person to ask when it comes to routes, so... Let's just uh, assume he he is doing something that works. And what uh, didn't work was Kenneth coming in as he got killed by a uh, cat, and now Mellor's gonna grab it uh, with not very much... not much of a speed boost, but, uh, you know, he's still going through midfield, but he has a lot of people around him. Well, just little. You know, Tastyham just ignores him and goes for the e grab basically. Yeah, we got the grab. Oh, this is the bounce he probably missed, messed up the last time. Yep, and if I got returned and uh, he's still out, I mean, one snipe should do it, he's 150 health, so... so uh, a decent chaser or anyone in position really should uh, be able to clean him up, but there's nobody there and uh, I think Shrek is on the other side of the map, so... No there's also there. many, many hills between him and any sniper that could be there. Yep, Kenneth is coming in now on the back. Yeah, uh, Kat's... the cap. Five to four. Wow. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Kenneth was coming in, but uh, unable to do anything, even though Cat didn't see him, so... I don't know, Pelican taking the lead again, and uh, on this map it, uh, it is Flam that are always chasing the lead, so... Yeah, yeah, it's... Uh, Flam, Flam have this um, tactic that they practice Diamond Sword a lot on this map because everybody always takes Blood Eagle. So yeah, that, that's that's a very good one actually, uh, and uh, it seems to be working. I mean, uh, the Kenneth Kangsai tandem camp is, has worked wonders so far, but uh, lately it has fallen a bit short. So yeah, I don't know. Yeah, where are they actually? Hmm. But uh, I think both teams are actually running double capper mainly because uh, both Immune and Shrek are uh, sniping out uh, one of their cappers almost every time. So, you know, no need to have the whole run shut down because of... Yeah, kind of they are not exactly bad snipers. <laughs> yeah, you could say that. Anyway, uh, Tastycam is out very high up in the, the air. The outside kind of got cleaned up and the return is made now. Yep, uh, testing, I'm still out, has broken line of sight, and uh, now we just need a big crash from Flam to prevent this cap, but uh, it's still a bit far away. Kenneth is try Kings is trying to get there, but uh, unless someone snipes out the... Uh, gonna be really close. Oh! Tasty got nice sniped out. Nice by Kenneth. Nice change by Flag Kenneth. Drops. Let's see it. Flag is bouncing. Ah, fidget. fidget. Picks it up. I guess Kevin can say just, just a, a sliver too, too late. Very nice pickup by Fidget, he had the momentum going towards the stand and managed to get the 6th cap for Pelican. Now it's very close for uh, for Flam. They're feeling the pressure, they need 2 caps and a grab to tie this up, and they have 5.5 minutes to do it. Still doable, but the way things have been going lately, it's not going to be easy. Yep, Yeah. all, all Pelican needs now is one more cap, and it's, it's their map. 
Yes, and uh, you know, Tasty Ham with his sometimes unconventional routes have has been getting out a lot. Even though he sometimes he just gets cleaned up just after. Anyway, Norman Northmark is uh, setting up an inventory station here. Maybe switching to Brute. No Raider. Actually, it's Raider. He's going to spam the stand just in a, in a second. Tasty Ham is coming in on uh, what looks to be a back to front. It will be about 10 seconds, but hold that thought as Kenneth is out on the other side, half health. Snipes coming in by Mune, but they hit a lot, actually. they have, He has 84 health, and... Uh, I mean, Nordsmark is in front of him. He gets, yeah, he gets the last chain bullet that was needed, and I think he's gonna get this. Yes, Nordsmark. Yes, he does it. And Tasty Ham is out. He has very low health though, and uh, yeah, I think Shrek he got sniped gone. in while he was regening. He had only half health. Yeah, Fidget picks it up in midfield though and manages to keep it alive, punting it forward. But there's a lot of flame here, and uh, let's see if Pelican gets this. Oh, yeah, they Black do. gets it. I don't know what uh, JP was doing, he was a bit too far ahead, and now Fitch is gonna pick it up again. Very nice cluster play by uh, by Pelican, and there's only Melor there. He gets the Kong and buying his team some more time, but they really need to crash hard as there is no blue on this side at all. Kanx is on a route though, but I don't know if he'll be able to make it in time. Black is looking to end this game, no, they're just passing it off to Nordsmark. Come on, video games for the last cap. Next three, room Nordsmark. Mark, you know, and there goes the cap, 7 to 4 for Pelican. Yep, seven to four to Pelican, and that's that ties it up. So, the last map's gonna decide who wins this uh, this, uh, this match. And uh, now, if I remember correctly, we have uh, now if Pelican wins, they will be tied up with uh, both Vertigo and Flamboyant. I think if Pelican wins this next match, all three all three uh, teams will be on twelve points, and. Uh, tied up, you know, only caps will decide. Wow. <laughs> no, but if Flamboyant wins, they take first seed and Pelican will be third, but uh, now we see the fragging count has is a lot closer. But we also see five airmails by the bus launcher that is cat 999. Choo choo. Oh wait, no, that's the wrong sound. Hong Kong. Oh, train, bus. <laughs> It's a way of transport anyway, and now we are heading out to CCR, which is not the but is the map, Canyon Crusade Revival. Oh yeah, CCR. And Flamboyant has picked uh, Blood Eagle, so I think you have some... Uh, readjustments to make. Ah, oh, these people, these people. <laughs> right, at least the score is tight, so... Uh, I don't have yeah, to you don't pay attention. You don't need to flip that. <laughs> well, you could, but what's the point? Anyway, uh, I think so far I don't see any subs, so... Nordsmar's ping is nice, which is good to see. And Mellors isn't, and JP isn't, and Kangsai is also. Basically, Kangsai has the same ping as Tasty Ham has, while Tasty Ham lives in America. Well, um, Kangsai lives in Israel. Well, it's, yeah, it's, it's slightly closer. So they're going to start them up first, apparently. And if that doesn't work, I think we're switching to London. So we might have a, a small delay for now. So everybody's lagging? Uh, not quite everybody, but... Yeah, two flamboyant players, basically. Like, yeah, they Mallory. have almost... Oh. They have almost the same ping as Immune, who lives on the west coast in the United States, so... You know. Yeah, that shouldn't happen, but... Uh, that's if Hyra, if Hyra's APC is in the chat, I'm sure he knows what uh, they'll tell, tell him. Yeah, we can always... Uh... A bitch about paying. <laughs> I don't know, but it's probably not not all all that much in their c uh, control, t to be honest. Unfortunately, the internet is based on a best effort and not on a guaranteed uh, service level. Oh, and uh, Lumberjack has tr just thrown in the chat that uh, Flamboyant, Flamboyant needs to cap out this map in order to get first place. Really? 
Oh. Yeah. Be oh no! Wait. No. How, how would that? No, they would have won three, three times, three, uh, yeah. three matches. No, no. He just says, "Oh, just win." Yeah, they they just need to. Yeah, they just, just need, need to, to win. Yeah. Because as things stand now, Vertigo and Flamboyant are tied with twelve points, and Pelican has ten. That's after the these first two maps. So, uh, the third map will decide basically the seeding, and uh, we could end up with Pelican being first. Depending on the cap, uh, the cap differential, but it seems a bit unlikely. <laughs> yeah, we will see. And apparently, we're moving to London. All right, so we all go out of the server and we go back in. Oh, are we going yep. in so too? Right, we all yep. go on so too. Whoa. Okay, password is the same. Don't say it on stream, of course. The password is. Uh! <laughs> That's the combination of my luggage. No, really? Ah, only only Rita would have that. Well, you know me. <sighs> yeah. All right. Uh, for once, a disorganizer would actually sort by name. There we are. Yeah, uh, I'll be in the server in a second, so you can just join on me. Yeah, it's um, I'm already loading. All right, we are loading, so we should be starting any time now, and hopefully the people's uh, pings are fixed now. All right, come on, load. Melor's ping seems to be 60, so it's not 180, that's good. Well, that's that, that's an improvement, yes. I think it was JP and Melor with ping problems, and they both seem to seem to have a good ping. So. Yeah, JP has a ping of 60, no, I don't think he can complain now. Oh, uh, 12. <laughs> Yeah, everybody seems to have... Uh, there doesn't seem to be any weird things going on now. I also noticed that Nordsmark apparently has 12 ping on London, while pinging, uh, I think, for about 40 to to Amsterdam. Yeah, it's kind of weird, because he, he doesn't live all that far from uh, Amsterdam. Yeah, he lives in Denmark, so you, you would think that uh, the North Sea would make the ping to London a bit higher, but apparently not. Well, it's not all that much further, to be honest. Yeah, just, you know... You'd assume Amsterdam being closer, but who knows how routing works. Well, I know, but it's really complicated and it's kind of weird. It depends on uh, if if you like if if your ISP likes your neighboring ISP, you might have a good ping. If they don't, uh, they route you around the entire continent twice, just to save like a bit of money. <laughs> All right, uh, we're still missing one person. Uh, I don't know what who. Black says London is confirmed to look to be located in France, according to the ping, because Black has a yeah. ping of four. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's that's pretty amazing. His, his ping is between zero and four. <laughs> nice. Well, we all knew who won the 100 year, year war. Apparently, it's it was France. Well, actually, nobody won, but still, France conquered London, and uh, London is in France, so Black has uh, no baguette loss. <laughs> oh, black bring down the smack, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah, JP is apparently in the UK and he has worse pain than black, who's in France. Yep, uh, apparently JP lives in France, UK, so that's very helpful, thank you guys. Yep, yep. Alright, uh, apparently, um, um, we got Game Shrine 2 <laughs> on the server. Yes, yeah, I think still that's Lumberjack. <laughs> yeah, Lumberjack is, Lumberjack is subbing here because uh, apparently we're still missing one person. 
Come on, who are we, who are we missing? All right, oh, now we seem goes. to have everybody. Now we are only waiting for the people to change the side. Rotate. Oh well, yes, uh, they need to put the CCR. Whoops. <laughs> yup, this is the wrong map. Well, that happens when you change servers, so just bear with us for a sec. Yep. Just uh, twiddle your thumbs. Uh, get something to drink. This this will take a bit. Yeah, they seem to want to play Arx again, which you know. Yeah, everybody loves Arx. But alas, poor Yurik, we must move to CCR. Yeah, the rules. Goddamn rules. Anyway, I'll be right back while we load the next map. So, what is chat up, chat up to in the meantime? I see Doc Matrix being upset about something. Oh yes, he should be mod. What is this? Well Doc, you have your own quick throw TV, so... Conflict of interest? Hmm, hmm, hmm? No, I'm just kidding. And, oh, Power Tat is in here. What's up, man? Alright, I hope I didn't get this code. Still waiting for the next match. I'm going to rejoin the server. Usually when this happens, it's... Yeah, just don't look good. Come on, server. Anytime now. Yep, Fidget saying what I was thinking basically. This server's man. Takes two minutes to wait until server switches map. That takes four seconds to load the map. Yep. Uh, I'm still servers. waiting. Well, there's only oh, 12. There we are. There's only 12 players in here, so. I guess oh, somebody 13. else is still waiting. 13, yeah. Oh no, wait, one of them is Lumberjack, who is an imposter. <sighs> really? And he's only level 1, this noob. <laughs> so yeah, we're still waiting for two more people then. That probably are still waiting for the map to load. Yeah, this map, CCR, cluster heavy, everybody loves it. Or not, I don't know. I think the defense people don't like it because the, the stand is so open. But I don't care, I play offense. <laughs> well, I play defense and I still find CCR enjoyable, even if it's a bit hard. Like, yeah, it's a challenge. You, 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 you get grabs everywhere because, you know, slides, grab from one side, grab from one the other side. There's so much fog that your sniper cannot see anything, basically. And oh, just has yeah. to rely... And just has to rely to, you know, spamming the spot key and hope for the best. Alright, seems we have everybody in, in a zone now, so we're waiting for them to switch. Uh, come on, any time now. Yep, pink seemed to be nice for everyone. Well, except for the American Americans, but you know. Yeah, but then again, that's the lift quite far away. That's what you get for invading our servers. Whoa, whoa. Sorry, sorry, liberating, liberating. Uh, I apologize. <laughs> well, at least anyway. you get to talk down. Anyway, we see already rules being broken as there are two force fields on the field. Oh. There are 
But okay, it's it's a standard duel between uh, Cat and Fingon. <laughs> That's actually pretty nice for a game mode, I think. It's kind of funny. You have, you have the bus launcher uh, duels. Yeah. Oh, Fingon goes out on top. Woo! <laughs> Actually, just right. get on they this. Are, they, are, they are all changing now to decide to go into the match. Finally. Yes, and uh, let's round the rosters real quick. So we have on Blood Eagle Team Flamboyant with Shrek, Melor, Kangsai, jx 3 ru Kenneth, JPY, and Finger and Wild on Diamond Sword. We have Pelican with Black with Zero Pink because London is in France apparently. Nordsmark, Tasty Ham on his Smurf Chicken U, Lil, Cat 1999. A fidget and immune. I'm sure there there were too many nines there, but anyway. And I might, might have si said 19. Oh well. Oh well, whatever. Numbers, yeah, crazy stuff. Yeah, no numbers uh, during stream time always confuse me. I mean, it's six seconds to go. <laughs> All right, we're off. The match started. Everybody's setting up. Yep, no subs from the last match, so continue with this. For anyone tuning in, tuning in or just right now, uh, this is map number three, and the uh, first map went uh, to Team Flamboyant, while the second map was Catabatic and went to Team Pelican. So 1-1 one, one so far, but it doesn't matter as it's the group stage, so it's not the best of three, but you know. If Flamboyant win this map, they uh, are first in their group and will get a bye to, to the semi-finals. So very important map match for them. And also if Pelican win, they... Basically if Pelican win, all three teams uh, are tied on 12 points and Caps will decide who gets seedings. But enough about that. Uh, we see Black and Infiltrators sneaking about and trying to get to Fingon. Nordsmark also attacking and I don't see uh, Tasty Ham at all. He's yeah, probably planning out. Him. He's just on his base right now. Okay, let's look at the uh, Pelican stand then. Uh, with the uh, cat going down and Little is very low. Little goes down, so we're just waiting on the capper to come in. And I don't see him at all. It's Oh, there he is. Kenneth just comes down from the sky and uh, with 300 health grabs and a back to front, he's gonna be home very soon with this one and he's full health. So, Black needs to e-grab this, he does so. He takes a lot of damage and goes down almost... He gets taken almost... out pretty much immediately. There's still Mallor yeah. and Fingen. Yep, Kenneth's coming back down. There's only little there and there's gonna time return this and that's Hell a cap 1-0. No. 1-0 for Pass on Boeing. First time in the whole series that uh, Flamboyant has taken the first cap on the map, so there's something for them. Kenta is coming in for another grab now. Yeah, on a side to side, he's going th 300. Doesn't seem that anybody saw him yet, and he gets out. Nobody saw him, but he's real low health. I think he took yeah. a bust there. Yeah, Kenneth uh, saw him at the last second and uh, he bust him basically. I guess you could say he got busted, understand? Wait, anyway, wait, wait, uh, wait. Yeah, that's that's <laughs> so good. Oh my god, JP JP uh, doesn't get anywhere and this, Nord uh, death return. Yeah, but when you have cappers like uh, Tasty Ham, Ken and Kangzai, and even and Black too. I mean, on this map where spotting is so hard and the routes go more than 300, it's well. Let's just say it's not going to be fun, and we're going to see a lot of e grabs. Not going to be fun for the defense, of course. As Tasty Ham's coming in now, oh, and he misses, misses. it. <laughs> Ouch. Too much speed for him to handle, and now Black comes in, Fingon hugs him, understand. Good stop by Fingon there, and uh, that's pretty much the Pelican offense shut down for now. As uh, Kenneth is actually playing offense for Flamboyant now, uh, with uh, in Juggernaut, so it's only Kangzai capping. Yeah, Kenneth's been playing a lot of offense lately, and Kangzai's been doing much of the capping. Yes, but still, uh, Kenneth does still does throw that double capping, and it's al always very effective. Oh yeah, well, he's still um, one of the best uh, cappers out there. Kangzai looks like he's just about to start his round, so the flam offense is just camping on this hill and uh, being. Uh, They're just well, spamming. Yeah, may not work for them. I mean, JP is very low, and uh, one snipe will take him out. Little, yeah, little gets him. Actually, he kicks out when he sees that he has no chance of being alive. 
And yes, with that said, uh, there's Tasty Hunt, there's Black on her route uh, on different sides. So let's see if uh, Shrek manages to sp spot any of them. Uh, he's being a, under a bit of fire. Spots? No, he's just shooting Nord's Mark, so. I don't know, Fingon is about to go down, he goes down to Fidget, and Tasty Ham's coming in now, Shrek doesn't see him at Tasty all, and... Uh, Full health. Yep. Good speed. He is low though, so one big yeah. snipe could do it, but uh, there's no sniper in line of sight, so... That should Cat's be returned. Gonna... Yep, Cat returns it. There we go. Uh, JPY was trying to get it, and uh, Cat just body blocked him in the field. Just Melor hanging out up here in the infiltrator, so... Oh, and Black appar uh, apparently crashed into Fingon again, so... Still, uh, good stomps by the Hoffs when they're alive. So we're gonna take Bats so. now. Uh, who's gonna need next, next cap? Considering the I last game, I'm gonna say Flam. <laughs> Could be. Uh, I don't know. This... If, if any game has been unpredictable, I think it's this one. And... Uh, Let's see, maybe Flamboyant are gonna try a static, or just uh, Kenneth is gonna slide down in Raider and do some destruct. Uh, yeah. As Kangzai and JP are coming Kenneth in. Kangzai gets uh. a grab, but he gets conked, I think. Yep, three people came to the stand at the same time, actually four with the infiltrator, so it was a bit of a mess for the defense, but they managed to conk it. But how yeah, they got cleared out. And JP is gonna cluster this through the midfield, he has some support, but Immune is sniping up here from the porch. Which is he, of course, on top of. Yeah, well, only Ken and JPY are left, but they are still moving on. And Fidget gets the conk, and nice return by Fidget. Ooh, meanwhile, Testiham was out with the with the with the flag and got to his side of the base. Immune's gonna now just casually walk up to the flag and say hi, and grab it and take it uh, take her home to dinner, and just now passing it off to Lil. Sharing is always caring, and passing it off to Cat, and that's gonna be a cap to Pelican. Ah, and yeah. my prediction completely destroyed. Yep, uh, I hope you didn't bet anything on that. So, no, I didn't have enough time. I mean, I, I'm I'm an obsessive gambler, but I I cannot cast and uh, bet at the same time, which is shame. Okay. Damn. Here, that lumberjack. We need uh, we need more options where we bet for shazbugs. We get. <laughs> We need to get a 10 plus return if we guess the scores or something. Anyway, uh, JP and Kangzai on... Well, Kangzai... Hold on, JP just switched the Raider on the inventory. And uh, Kangzai is going on a route. Nice rock bounce on that big rock. And uh, Cat is still alive, but under a lot of fire. And manages to get a nice shot on Kangzai, but he's still going. 380 health. Looks to have broken line of sight, and uh, he's gonna be home very soon. And I don't see. Oh, Tasty Ham is very high in the air, and he's not gonna, gonna make it in time. That's that's uh, the tying cap for Flam, and it's 2 2 with 18 minutes remaining. And now Tasty Ham is coming in, going back to front, and he misses the flag. I don't know if he was shot off route or if he just misses the flag because because the ledge just you know pushed him a bit too high. Uh, I didn't see that either. Kenneth setting One up of another route. We should see Black. Oh no, he gets sniped out. So, so there's Kang's eye on the other side, and uh, Immune just takes out Melor too, so good good stuff by the uh, American Sniper, who is also a very good rapper, I'm told. Well, yeah, but uh, if, if you're not uh, over 18 yet, don't listen to it. It's, it's not uh, free for. It's rated R, I think. Yes, basically cannot cannot watch it, unfortunately. Yup. Rock City by Immune for anyone interested, just look it up on YouTube. Anyway, Testingham <laughs> is coming in <laughs> coming in now on the back to front, and he's gonna hit the stand full of Fingon, and he's nice Black distract. actually gets him. <laughs> yeah, nice di nice distract play by Testingham as Fingon was looking at him and Black just swoops in under him and takes it out. Takes the flag out for a ride, and uh, JPY is there to tr try and stop him, but he's making a lot of shots, but he needs one more. One more shot, he gets it, but Cat is on the stand. Oh, he doesn't pick it up. Chicken U is there, tasting him, yeah, whatever. He gets Three, the cap, 3 two. 2. And I think Cat just killed two people on the stand with a mortar, but a bit too late. Unfortunate. Yes, it is. And Kangsa is just uh, about 10 seconds out, maybe even less, considering he's going about 350, so. In 360, in no scopes, etc. 
Uh, however, he gets scoped, actually sniped, and, he and uh, yeah, he was uh, gonna die anyway. Too many, too many bodies in the stand. Again, we see a very open, uh, very open map now. I mean, it might be, it might be a result of the new rules that uh, basically discourage these stacks and especially technician these stacks, but uh, but also the fact that this map is so open and. Uh, so fast to get uh, from one side to the other when you're going like 350 or something. The like last two maps speed. also had a lot of flag play. No, I yeah, wouldn't so blame it all on the map. Yeah, I think it's a combination of the rules and then the teams being uh, really good. So JPY now has the flag on the other side, but I'm gonna watch Black who's coming in now and Fingon is very low and gets oh, killed. Oh, Black mi misses. They're still tasty on huh? the air. Way up in the air. Yep, uh, Nordsmark is trying to keep the stand clear for Tasty Ham. Oh, oh he gets conked. nice conk. Great conk by, I think it was Kenneth. And uh, JPY is now has made it all the way home in uh, Raider, I believe. But he gets killed and a little, and oh, little gets, nice pickup. Wow. Amazing, Hero amazing return. return by Little. Nice. Kangzai grabs the flag on the other side but gets, uh, well, he punts it forward. And there's no hope for that play to continue as Black returns it. Very clutch, clutch plays coming in from Lil. Lil, little. Why is the English language so weird? I don't know. Well, don't however, <laughs> always, especially for their low, their low ping to London. Yup. Black still has zero ping. I want to point point this out compared to JP, who actually lives in you in the UK. Well, that might uh, be a bug. Ken is going oh, in. He, he misses, apparently. Kenta is on the back route. Yep, and Kenneth takes care of Cat and... Oh, nice conk by Little. Clutch play again by Little. Very nice conk. They might try to keep this alive, but all the all the speed has been destroyed. Yeah, they, they don't have all that much uh, health, so this is going to be really hard. But they, everybody steps... Oh, the Black! There was a lot of red on this side of the map on the stand, but... Everybody went away from the stand as Black was coming in and uh, take, took them by surprise completely. And he's now out in Soldier. Pants it to stand. Will we see a meter pick up? Cat, very nicely done. There is JPY crashing, but he gets chained out. There's Kenneth crashing. There's Kenneth crashing. He misses the flag, yes. unfortunately. He has very little health. No, a conk by somewhere from Jax. Something happened. Someone got conked. Jax Rero is coming in. Oh, he kills the guy on the stand. And he Only gets Black's himself. alive. Another oh, snipe. And finally the count. Very, that, was that was a class snipe. Damn. That was a class snipe by Shrek. Holy shit. Wow, look at all Just the corpses on the flag stand. <laughs> so many nuggets. So many nuggets. Wow. If you had survivalists, you could live two lives as a brute with no health on this stand. Wow, that, that was very nice. But still, Pelican coming in with the... With, this, with the cap, and uh, that's 4 2 with uh, still half the map to play, so we'll see what happens. But Pelican taking a nice lead. And I just want to throw a big, quick trivia out there because, well, yesterday I wanted to bet on Flamboyant, but apparently I misclicked and bet on Pelican, and I couldn't uh, change my vote. So maybe this is working out for me this time. Maybe I can win some Shazbox. Anyway, uh, no. Uh, Tastyham is out on, uh, on a very nice route. Less than half held, about 300. Uh, <coughs> sorry about that. Anyway, uh, the flag got degrabbed. Oh, and nice return. Melo nice. just. Uh, wow. Melo were just caught in no man's land as the flag got dropped. And uh, nice time to return. And uh, that's 5 2 for Pelican. A bit uh, unexpected. Yeah, I think uh, the, this the, fifth the double capping from Pelican really helps him a lot. Yeah, I mean, Flamboyant has switched to Kenneth mainly going offense, and uh, I'm, I don't think it's because he doesn't know any routes in this map, because Kenneth probably could go 400 on this one, so I'm not sure what this, you know, why they switched out from double capping. Maybe they thought they would use the fragging power more. Yeah, I don't know, Kenneth's playing in if now. Anyway, uh... We're still waiting for some cappers somewhere. Yeah, uh, Black just set up. He's still far, but, far off. But tasty, tasty chicken here is uh, from uh, coming in from the right side, and we'll do on a slightly back to front. He's just he's coming over Shrek's head basically. He doesn't see him at all. 
Uh, and uh, no spots whatsoever. Fingon is under fire from Nordsmark. Fingon and I didn't, think didn't see him at all. Wow. Yeah, nobody saw him, and he's out of that. Uh, that's like the problem. With it. Yep, Kenneth is the only one there in infantry. There's also Melor, but he's low. Kenneth's gonna go with the grab as inf. And he goes into the gen and kills little with the stick. Very nice. Throwing yeah, the stick in front of the nice entrance. Place to hide, to be honest. Oh, and the flag got dropped, and Melor is there to pick it up. Everyone forgot about Tasty Ham. Like, Tasty Ham died, dropped the flag, and the cat and Nordsmark were looking the other direction, basically. I think they were just surprised that uh, he actually went into the gen. Yeah, that was, that was unfortunate. Oh, and Pelican have dropped a player. Indeed. Someone uh, disconnected, so... It's him. No, it's not immune. No, it's not immune. It's uh, the stand, the cat. It's cat, yeah. So they'll ha we'll have to wait until he reconnects for this one. Kanks apparently missed his route, messed up his route, or, you know, the flag isn't there. Black is setting up for another route. And I think uh, Tacy was already on his way. Kenneth is in Pathfinder, so I'm expecting a route from him which would be, you know, useful considering Fidget is now on stand. Apparently, yeah, Kenneth is doing the 40 second super high speed route. And he should have seen uh, Tacy, I mean, yes, he gets taken out by Fingen. Yeah, now Kansai and Canada are double capping. Kansai should be getting to the flag any second now. Yeah, he is. He, I think it's about 5 seconds he's gonna do a rock bounce. Yeah, I think he lost a bit of speed, but he's still going uh, over 200. Yeah, that's. I think he lost a lot of speed there, actually. And he and missed, but... Now, he let Canada grab, I think, who was way faster, and he's now with oh, yes. 300 in the air. 300 in the air, and for 500 health he's gonna crash on the stand, yep. Uh, five to five three. three. And Pelican are still missing cats, so... Yeah, they still uh, don't have a standee. Happen. So this might be the time for Flamboyant to... to, to tie this up and uh, oh, get there the win. Is. Cat is back. The big guy on the stand with the title launcher is back, so... it's all good now. Fidget can uh, relieve... Fidget can go back on offense. Now, there's now two Doombringers on the stand, just for, for fun. That's a really fat defense. Yeah, Kenna is going yeah. over the left, and uh, Kensai should be going over the right, unless he's been sniped out. Actually, I can't no, find him anymore. I don't know. No, Nark will not be able to say that Pelican never de because they clearly did for five seconds. Unacceptable. Anyway, Kangsa is on the left side with his route, and he'll He's be following Kenneth. Kenneth is actually yep. earlier. Kenneth, did he get sniped? Wow. No, I think he took a big disc jump, and he's, I think he's gonna region because this route takes like forever, but gets like to 400 on the back to front. So Kangsa is coming in, he's gonna come in before, side to side, out clean. 320 on a side to side, that's, that's almost Getting unchaseable. Far up. Very, very far up, but nobody's sniping him. I don't see any snipes. Immune is missing. It's yeah, also the fog isn't helping, and Fidget will try the conk. He misses the conk, unfortunately, but gets a lot of chain and forces him Can't to punt. Say and now Kenneth's gonna try and grab this. Yes, he does. However, Tasty Ham is on the other side, and uh, Fidget and Little are crashing here, but they're gonna get cleaned up. So we're moving into a standoff, which could be very decisive for this match. Because if uh, Pelican managed to camp uh, from this standoff, it's gonna be very hard. Oh, an inventory station almost kills. Or did it actually kill Tasty Ham? I'm not sure if he came no, out. No, he came out. He yeah, had suicide. Ah, well. Hmm. Oh, he's going on O, so yeah, he might, he might be getting a better spawn. He's already back, back in the game. And they're ho Pelican electing to holding the flag up here, and I think uh, Flam are doing the same on the other side. So they can just, you know, slide down the hill. Oh, Shrek has dropped it, so... There's something going on on the other side, but I'm sticking uh, on the Pelican side for now. As... Uh, the, basically the entire office is in, is in position for Flam, and uh, there's a lot of nade spawn coming in. Little takes a big, big shot and goes down almost immediately. Uh, the flag gets returned, and yeah, the also flag gets returned, returned as well. Yep. Double return, there were like four, four or five people from uh, Flamboyant uh, just waiting for the flag to drop on one of them. Yep, I think JPY got it. But yeah, they still benefits Pelican. I mean, uh, there's still six minutes remaining and uh, there's still two caps up, so... Yeah, every minute Maybe. 
uh, that doesn't result in a cap for flamboyant is good for uh, for Pelican. Yeah, I think the fact that cap dropped uh, hurt them a bit as uh, they had to pull fidget from offense, but uh, you know they're still going. And uh, Kenneth and Kangsai are tandem capping, have been spotted, I think. Mm, Kenneth's no, going wait. on the back road again. Yeah, Kenneth's actually going the other way, so never mind. Uh, Kenneth Kangsai got the uh, uh, chain out. Yeah, intercepted by a little nice player as, uh, as an LD. And Tastyheim is coming in very soon, Finger is low. So Black. Sh no, Black is actually gonna. No, he's not gonna grab it, he's gonna kill Finger. And there, there goes Tastyheim. There goes Tasty with 300 health and ah, he hits a 3. I got that on, ca on camera. <laughs> oh, that's too bad. And uh, Kenneth is coming in on side to side. He hits a lot of damage from Cat, but he's still out. One snipe will do it and he does. Nice, nice shot by Immune. <laughs> Tasty is still going with this. And if they time return this now, oh, there's someone needs to go. Come on, Black. Come on, Black. You can do it. Return it. Black do is it. really close and he gets he returned. And that's a cap. Six, six, cap. six is three. Oh, only one more cap for, for, for Pelican. And he get and yep. he get this map and win this match. And considerably probably plays better in the seedings, I think. But uh, yeah, we'll probably. see that at the end. Uh, Kangsa is now coming in on side to side, and Tasty Khan body blocks him on the stand, just staying back uh, for a sec. Yeah, and Kangsa plays K's out. But yeah, despite hitting a three at three hundred uh, Sinex, somehow Tasty Khan managed to get on the other side of the base and cap it. It's probably part of his route to, to throw off the, the chases. Yeah, he probably saw the video on Reddit about tree bouncing and he wanted to try it. Yeah, yeah. Oh well, next time you'll be luckier tasty him. Just keep hitting those trees. You know, if Creature does it and he is uh, one of the best cappers EU, you can do it too. And the map, and there's a map getting named after him for hitting a tree. Come on. Yeah, it, it needs more trees, I think. We need to... Uh... Anyway, a uh, little is now... And it's going Wait. in, gets the grab. On the other side, Narc apparently took mm, a, a wild Narc appears. <laughs> He's in the game, apparently. Apparently, yeah. Replacing, replacing Nord's Mark, who uh, I must guess had some ping issues. That was a very uh, elegant sub, nobody noticed him. Anyway, uh, Kenneth uh, with the punt. And... Uh, Kangsa is gonna pick it up. Yes, nice pick up me there. A uh, little trying to do some damage, but gets cleaned up as well. Now, yeah, the, the ooh, Blood the Eagle flag has made it to the other side already. No, it's somewhere. It, oh, it got returned, return. though. So Kangsa may cap this. I keep flamboyant. Hope still alive. So there we are. Yes, six to four. With three minutes remaining, and this could be another very tense three minutes for uh, both teams actually. But uh, Flamboyant must be on the grill because they, if they, if if Tastyham gets another one of his uh, 300, uh, 300 routes without hitting a three, that could be GG. Yeah, but on the other hand, all uh, Flamboyant needs now is one cap and one grab at the end to get into overtime, and then he has another yeah. ten minutes. And. Uh, Apparently the, the people with high ping on Pelican are not only the Americans, but I saw Fidget with 400 ping at one point. And oh. now it has flown back down to 76. That was... Taysam gets to fly, but he's really, really low. <laughs> he gets to Good snipe by Shrek. Good shot by Shrek from quite a distance. And Black will try to keep this alive. He might make it before, but he's going uphill and he's slow. And yeah, Jextrier who is gonna retrieve this anytime. Yes, he does. However, who Kenneth is out is Kenneth, flag. and he's going to beat everyone unless Tasty Ham can do some miracle here. Tasty Ham, oh, he's not gonna. Oh yeah, yeah. Uh, Tasty Ham just a millimeter too too late. Yes, millimeter is now a time measurement unit. Yes, and uh, uh, Tasty Ham is well kind of out, but gets chained out anyway. And that's six five, and Pelican has stepped this up. I mean, uh, not Pelican. Flamboyant Flamboy. has stepped aside. Well, they pretty much have to. I mean, they have only 1 minute and 40 seconds to go. They pretty much have to get another cap. Right and, now. And one grab is feasible. And Kangsa is coming in now. And he nice misses. Shot. Oh, he got... He got... Uh, bus he got stopped. me there by cat. Yeah. He's... He's... <laughs> he got bus stopped. That, that... 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 We're rolling with that. Yeah. yeah bus stopped. <laughs> 
Uh, anyway, uh, Tasty Ham is spotted and gets uh, he gets a lot of snipes towards in his direction, but nobody, no one hits. He's getting his regen already, going in for for the flag. There's nobody on stand. Yep, it's the bounce. Nice. Clean up. He's not going 300 though, only 250, so he's probably not going to hit a tree. And uh, 230 now up here. He is a bit low. 400 health. It's not There's much only on, on their stand. So. JP, JP is ready for uh, the clutch play. Whoa! That was clutch. <laughs> he tried for the melee, he didn't get it. Tasty oh, Tasty! Kensai got it out. Tasty Bro. had best to, best to cut at the last second. He should have just thrusted towards the flag, but uh, maybe he didn't think he was going to beat Kensai, who is now out. And uh, Yeah, he has I don't know. Three, three chases, he gets taken out. Fidget's going to retrieve this. Fidget got a return. Cat, cat might get this. Cat might get the last cup. Cat, there we are. Seven to Seven five. To five. Wow. Pelican takes this matchup against Flamboyant two to one, losing on Arx Novena, but then coming back strong on Catabatic and winning CCR at the end. I think there's a lot of uh, chance marks going to, for people that uh, voted for Pelican because there were only eighteen eight votes versus seventeen votes uh, on on Flamboyant, and they had. 11,000 shaz bucks in total in the game. So. Suddenly, I'm very happy that I accidentally bet for Pelican. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, we see the fragging, uh, fragging, fragging counts are pretty much equal if you add them up, but uh, a lot of 20s on the flam side, but still it wasn't enough. Yeah, it's kind of strange. And I mean, Immune has 33 for uh, Pelican and all the rest didn't even make it into 20. And on the other side, uh, Flamboyant, everybody has around 23, 23 frags. Nicely done. Congratulations yep, to Pelican then. Yep, GG is thrown, up, uh, thrown in chat by both teams and uh, surely deserved. And we might get someone uh, here f for a couple of interviews, so stay tuned. Oh boy, I'm so disorganized. This was 7 to 5, right? Ay, ay, ay. Yes. <sighs> I should be ashamed, to be honest. And I wrote it on the wrong side. Yep, and 12 points each as Barrel Organ points out, and now the, we're just uh, we're just waiting to see the cap uh, the cap scores. There we are. Now everything should be correct. So, are we getting some people in here? Should I check if I can get a uh, thing in? Maybe. Uh, I'm just telling them where to find me in Mumble if they're maybe searching. Yup. And we're joined here by Little. Hello. Who I. Hey. Congratulations. Little from. Yep. Thank you. Fuck, that was intense. Oh yeah. A little from Team Pelican here, so uh, you know, what do you have to say about this that whole match? We're, we, uh, I don't know. We're so happy that we won that. Like that was amazing. Yeah, it was so close. I mean, it was every time it was maybe one or two caps difference between the bo both teams. Barely anything. At the, um, I don't know if you noticed, but we actually played for a good five minutes with six people on CCR there. Yeah, cat was yes, dropping uh, out, right? Cat was dropping out, and then we we're trying to get Nark in, but then he had issues, and then Norgemark had 500 pings, so we had to cycle him out as well. We were screaming, "Fuck!" Yeah, we noticed. We noticed that uh, the cat, and uh, also I noticed at one point Fidget had four, 400 ping, but that was just a one-time thing. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh my god! Good games now. Fuck. Yeah, that was a good. That was a great game. Really good. Really nice to watch. Wow. Do you think, like on CCR, that flamboyant, uh, if they continued, if they did the double capping more, they would have gone out more, or? Uh, uh, no, I don't think so. I don't think that was working too well for them. I think uh, we're doing a pretty good job of getting those spots and and shutting them down on defense. I think the uh, the triple clear was working better. Hmm. 
Very nice. And I saw, we saw some I mean, clutch plays from everyone. I remember some good, very good nitrons from you that were like, wow. So, yeah. No, it was a good play from everyone. Definitely. Yeah. Uh, yeah, still nobody from Flamboyant coming down. Sally? Oh, uh... Um, yeah, I don't know. This was um, the first time we beat them, I think, in an official match. Wow. Congratulations. Nice, Thank yeah. You. Yeah, and Flamboyant's been really, really strong this season. They are very good, yeah. Amazing players on that team. Yeah, I mean, they beat Vertigo, so that's something. <laughs> Well, I'm Penguin. By the way, you won 2,000 chance bucks. <laughs> well, that okay. I have to beat on uh, the. I have to bet on the on the on the team. I don't want to bet. No offense, little. I just had a feeling from point <laughs> was going to win, but hey, I was wrong. You even yes. bet more than Nog. <laughs> yeah, only Cliffside and... got more more chance bucks than you do, did. And the results are in for Division 1, and Vertigo still gets first seed with uh, 40 X, 48 caps, 4 and 20 against, so a 28 uh, cap difference. While Pelican has a... Uh, takes... Uh, um, second place, I think. 46 versus yep. 27. Uh, oh, awesome. Then uh, followed by Flamboyant, 47 versus 31. So yeah, congrats. This is, wow. Thank you. This and, is really uh, tight. <laughs> yeah. And we're yeah, joined sure. here by uh, Mellor from Team Flamboyant. Yo, hello. Hello. So. GG's to uh, Pelican. Yeah, those, GG, those GG. were great games. Wow. Wow. Yeah. Anything, uh, you know, any more uh, analysis from you? Like, what do you think uh, went wrong on uh, Kata and CCR? Um, I don't really think we did so many things wrong. It was just mostly them playing very well. That was the biggest factor in all this. Um, it was really hard to get past them. Like normally on a map like Catabatic, we would get out uh, nine times out of ten. Like even against the best teams, but they were stopping us much more than we experienced in the past. Yeah, I mean that match yeah. uh, was Flam against IDK. I think last season on, on Catabatic, when we just stomped them. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Pelican really did, did really well this time. Wow. Yeah, did. It's stressful playing defense against um, Kenneth's Roots there. They're fucking so good on Catabatic. <laughs> like you only see them coming five seconds out and then everybody's screaming. Jesus. And yeah, uh, luckily Cat only needs a split second call. Yeah. That's a beast. Cat is amazing. Always oh, so great stops from both standees. I mean, we saw great plays pretty much from everyone. Uh, also, Tasty Ham, like uh, with his great uh, hitting the hitting the tree and then coming still still coming back to the stand and capping for the six cap. That was pretty amazing. Oh yeah, yeah. just heard something about him messing up. I didn't know what he hit. Yeah, he hit the tree and then he had the time to to VGS spam. <laughs> oh, that's too bad. <laughs> I can't yeah, I mean, the uh, camera if you want to see it. I'll definitely be watching the cat back. So, uh, like, now, uh, Melor, your team has been thrown basically into the third seed, so I guess you'll uh, face the uh, the second place team from uh, from Division 2, so it's okay. it looks to be either 1-up or Dirty Little Secrets, so what yeah. do you think? Um, I think it's gonna be a good game. I expect to win it. Uh, yeah. Uh, I haven't seen Wanna play in a long time. And we don't swim them a lot, but we have swim DLS quite a bit, and they're getting better rapidly as well. Yeah, so, DLS, they came out of the house league, didn't they? Yeah, Last they did. Yeah. And they, really, uh, they really got some good players, they just need to catch up on some strategies, and they're good to go, actually. Well, yep. Yeah, they managed, and, uh, to take a man, uh, they managed to win against Nimble Minds. They lost against the 1-Up. Yeah, that's true. But they took a map out of 1-Up, so that's good. And uh, Little, 
basically your team uh, will uh, phase two one between uh, you know one between uh, one up and the other dirty little secret. So, what do you think uh, about those two teams? Uh, I think we've had close games against one up in the past, uh, so that will be fun. But uh, I think we should be able to win, like regardless of of who it is, without too much too much trouble, honestly. So yeah, well, we'll definitely see that, see that in the quarterfinals. And uh, looks like uh, Team Vertigo and Team I don't know will be getting a buy into the to the semifinal. Uh, well, still DLS and IDK have to play tomorrow, but uh, you never know. It would be a big surprise if DLS beat IDK. Uh, yeah, we have to admit that. <laughs> that would be a big surprise. That's true. So go DLS. Let's let's see some upsets. <laughs> and now Crystalite will never come uh, on an interview with me. Oh well. <laughs> <laughs> oh, come on, I don't think he, he will. He will mind. Well, uh, either way, thanks for the game, cut. <coughs> Sorry, thanks for the games, guys. Uh, GGs. And uh, if you have any final shoutouts and thoughts, uh, throw them out there. Uh, no, just just uh... GG. Well played, to Pelican. Um, thanks for casting, guys. Appreciate it. That's it. Well, I like I the guess. new. Uh, sorry. No, that was it. Yeah, I like the new uh, logo from Flampoint. It's really uh, HD. <laughs> yeah, you can thank uh, JP for that one. Yeah, I saw the saw the forum thread uh, a while ago. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I guess that's it. Uh, if my lovely main cast has something to say, I will. Uh, I'll just shut down the stream. Nope. Just shout out to the Triumphs Casting Network for making this possible, and to Unite Dust for, of course, streaming. And I think we'll see. Hold on a sec. Uh, tomorrow there are. Not tomorrow. Just give me a second here. Okay, so in two days, on Thursday, there will be one up against Nimble Minds Eternal in the Division 2 of the Pro League, and it will be on Quick Throw TV. So Doc Matrix will be casting that, maybe with Stowaway. While I thought it was on Travis of Sand on the main channel. I don't know. It says Quick Throw TV, so. Oh, okay. And uh, DLS against I don't know will be going on the same time, so mm, maybe we're gonna catch this on the on the Tribes Cast Network. Oh, yeah, it's probably gonna get casted. Speaking of Tribes Cast Network, if you wanna join this, uh, there should be a link at the bottom of the description, and uh, just write in what you wanna do if you wanna cast. Uh, you don't need all that much uh, upload, even though people say that. Uh, I don't have all that much upload, and I hope the quality was decent. So, join up. We need more casters for the EU, also for our NA. And yeah, see you next time. Yep. See ya.